if you are a research scholar you already know how important it is for us to go through literature survey literature survey is done most of the time by us if you have to design a new reaction if you have to write a research paper if you have to write down a research uh, or a review article or even if you have to present some work in the upcoming presentation now today in this particular video i am going to share a ai tool which is answer this.io this ai tool helps you to do most of the things which are useful for a research scholar and i'm going to show you in some time how it is going to be used but today in this video i'm going to focus on two major uh, features of this particular platform number one is a literature review like how this platform can be used to uh, get more intensive and comprehensive result out of the different things which are available on internet and the second thing is how you can summarize a research paper you upload a research paper you can summarize it and it gives you very key points of that research paper which you can use even if you want to present it or if you just want to understand the research paper now i have been using this platform to prepare for my upcoming presentations because if i have to present some of my work or let's say if i have to present some others work i have to first of all understand that i have to first of all summarize that understand by myself and then i have to explain it to others now if i go in the trivial way and if i start reading the research paper it is going to take a lot of time of mine and i have to do all of my research as well so this particular platform helps me to summarize everything in key points and makes me well prepared for my upcoming presentation so i'm going to show you in next part of this video i'm going to show uh, uh, like my screen and i'm going to show you how this particular platform is useful how you can use it for literature review and how you can use it uh, to get summarized result out of pdfs which you have there are some other features of it but that i will keep for another video but here i'm going to focus on the major part which we all research scholars generally use so let's get directly to my screen and let's get started so to use this platform the first thing which you have to do is of course sign in and make your account so you can basically do it from here there is an option to sign up uh, first time if you're using it you have to sign it up since i have already used it i'll quickly sign up and i'll show you how the interface looks like after signing in this is a very minimalistic yet very user friendly uh, interface is right in front of you you can see there are various different options on the left side which include new query for a new type of query which you want to do then you have ai writer here which in which ai is going to help you to write then you have library which includes all the research papers which you have uploaded or which you have downloaded from the platform then there is option to search papers in case if you want to search paper on a certain topic you can do that then there is a citation map here you can create a citation map it helps you to find out that how a particular paper is cited in other papers and like basically it creates a whole map for the citation of a particular paper and how it is cited in other papers and how those papers are cited in further papers so it basically creates a map kind of thing which helps you to find out various different papers related to that paper okay then there is a very interesting feature which is of diagram which helps you to make different flow charts diagrams uh, regarding your research and then there are some mini tools okay uh, mostly i'll be talking about the uh, basic part of ai writer and how you can use that to basically write your things and how you can do literature survey so our focus will be mostly on literature survey part for this part of video and i'll also tell you some portion of how you can upload a pdf and then you can chat with P pdf or how you can ask questions from that pdf which is going to basically your research paper which is going to give you a summary of a research paper in a more interesting way so let's start with it so let's start with a new query you can see that this is the place where i can ask research related question and there are a few other tabs over here let me tell you quickly about them so first of all over here is auto uh, so auto it is going to do automatically the things or if i specifically ask it to do literature review so if you are writing a literature a review article or something then it is a better option to choose literature review there are two mode you can either choose a light mode or you can use a pro mode okay so let me use the pro mode over here uh, then you have three different options either you can upload some pdf and ask questions related to that that we will discuss at the last later part of this video okay or you can just simply like uh, uh, ask it to search on papers or internet so there are two options if both are selected that means it will search for research papers also and it will also search for 
that portion over the internet okay and then if you choose library so it will only search uh, for the content in your library where you have saved your data okay then there are some more options to apply some more uh, like uh, filters here you can see that uh, what you want you want a structured literature review or if you want a dynamic literature uh, uh, research assistant okay so these are two options so in the case of your structured sorry in the case of your structured literature review, it is going to give you a, a literature review mode, which is going to already make or already write the whole thing for you in the form of literature review, how you write it down in the same way. If you don't want that, if you just want a dynamic research assistant where it, it is only going to search the content, provide you with some uh, information about it, this is a better option than choose that. And then there is a deep search. Uh, where you can it is going to provide you comprehensive uh, information about it and it is going to give you more citation rich answer you can also opt, uh, like select that how many minimum citations you want in an article in order to be uh, like read by this particular uh, platform then there is a turbo mode which uh, which gives result like quickly okay it is going to provide result faster but it can reduce the comprehensiveness so you can like turn it off if you want and then database we have selected research papers web search is also there like all the websites or if you only want to search on the educational website that also you can do or only you want to search on the government website you can also choose that then the quality of journals then other sources also it can choose like patents and library it can also choose for that if you want to select the quality of journal that also you can give you want to only do literature survey of a particular period of research papers let's say you only want to do it for last five years so let me just choose that so i have to just give a date so let's say i want to do it from uh 2000 let's say 2020 onwards okay and uh, end date i can just give the today's date okay so that is going to be my other filters and uh, here if i ask now a question so let's say i ask a question that uh, wha what is the effect effect of electric field on the confirmation of protein okay i can uh, be more specific but i'm just giving a general uh, like general query just i want to show you okay how it how it gives you the result uh, this was uh, one of my topic one of my project which i did in my phd so now if you just search it out it is going to take a little bit of time it is going to analyze and then it is going to fetch you the results so it will take a little bit of time because i have chosen the pro mode and i have also asked for the uh, for the deep research uh, that means i want it to be more comprehensive about the result so yeah it will take a little, little bit of time i'll get back to you once this is done but in the meantime you will be also like given with a lot of you know information which is going to keep you engaging with the platform but uh, let's wait for some time i'll be waiting for some time and i'll make a cut here and i'll show you when this whole circle is going to get completed and it is going to fetch the result for us all right so now we have the result with us all right so it has fetched the result one more very good thing which i found about this platform is that you get a notification on your email so i got a notification on my email that uh, the result is ready so i can now get back over here i don't have to you know keep on checking for that so see uh, this is how it has given me a very comprehensive result over here it has given an overview of it then different like strength of the fields and then different things it has mentioned over here and every topic it has tried to explain it using some uh, like some citation so it's not just pushing you the or it's just not showing you any random data or any random information but it is also backing you backing that information with some research paper so that's the good thing about it uh, if you come down these are all the different things and it has also concluded that now the thing is that it has also given all the citations the good thing is that if you want to uh, download this in the form of pdf or in the form of word file you can download it up and you can now you will be having now all the information with you and you can now have a initial to start like you have something from where you can now start you can now if you want to actually write a research uh, like 
uh, review article on this particular topic. Now you can start searching for each and every topic in detail over here. So you, again, you have to just push a particular topic or a particular thing, write down a query related to that, ask in the query and again, it is going to fetch information about it. So that's how you can fill up all these topics and that's how it is going to create it. So we are not actually just using the AI to just auto generate everything for us, but we are using it as an assistant for us so that you we don't have to do the hard work. We don't have to go through each and every article one by one. Now, if you see the articles over here, you can see that a lot of articles even from Journal of Chemical Physics, a Journal of Biomedical Structure and Dynamics. So these are some very good reputed journals which have been cited over here. Now, this is something which I usually use to get the initial idea about the thing which I have to write. Now, let me show you another uh, very good use of this particular platform which helps you to understand a particular research paper. Let's say I have to read a research paper and I have to present it on my lab. Okay, let's say I have uh, my uh, presentation uh, in the coming week and I have to present a particular research paper. If you are a research scientist, you know that you have to uh, like you know you have to present research papers or other research papers which are similar to your work and uh, every week or every like two weeks you have to do that so either you can go ahead and read the research paper completely that is fine if you have a longer time or if you have a lot of time let's say two weeks or three weeks for that but if you have very short time one or two days for that in that case this platform is going to be very helpful so all you have to do is click on this upload PDF and from here you can upload the PDF version of that research paper. So I'm going to upload one of my research papers and I'll go, I'm going to show you how you can use this. So you can upload more than one paper also. Uh, let's say I have just uploaded one paper. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to ask it to summarize this research paper in major points. Okay. Now, this is going to again take a little bit of time, analyze it and then it is going to fetch us result. All right. So, this is one of my research paper which I have published in year 2023. Now, you see that it has summarized everything in such a beautiful way. Starting from the research ob objective and context, it has given three points for the objective of it. Then it has also mentioned what are the experimental setups which I have used for this particular research work. What were the main findings which I found in this? And then what is the mechanism of this particular finding? Then it has basically given different points and then additional observation about it. And then it has summarized everything for us as a key point. This makes things so easy for you. I mean, if you are someone who is planning to make a presentation on this particular research paper, now you have everything with you. You have a summary of it, like what has been used here, what has been studied here, what mechanism has been used, what was observations and uh, how the things were studied and what was the comparison and the other field and what was the conclusion and the further observations from here. So that's something which I really love about it. If you try to do the similar thing in other uh, like AI tool, for example, in chat GPT, it is not going to give you very consistent result. And uh, another thing is that it is not going to summarize everything in such a beautiful way because this particular platform is specifically designed for uh, research scholars who are working in the field of science and who are working in the field of uh, like research and they need to summarize things in a more effective and easier way uh, so that uh, they kn it knows the language of scientists okay it knows how a scientist want information and that's how it fetches it and that's something which blows my mind and also it's very useful for me and definitely it is going to be useful for you so these were the two features which I tried to explain you in this particular video in detail and I hope that you are curious enough to try this particular thing by your own. So the link is there in the description of this video. Also I have, will pin this link in the first comment. The platform is free for initial few literature reviews. So I would highly recommend you to use that uh, like explore this platform and uh, try to utilize whatever is being provided and it is going to drastically help you how you are reading a research paper that has this platform has definitely helped me. I, I often upload a research paper and I try to summarize it for me uh, so that I can read it in a more effective way. The thing which would have taken like, let's say not uh, like uh, hours, but some days for me to do that, it has been done in some minutes. And now I can just go through some points and that is all I need to do. 
uh, even if you want to see some graphics that is of course available in the paper itself if you want to see some graphs and all those are from the paper but the text thing which is the more boring part which i would say uh, is done by this ai and it has been summarized over here so i hope you guys like this particular video please do let me know in the comment section if you have any particular query and that's it from my side for this particular video i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care